name is Tara Chadwick, and I would like to welcome you to Miramar Cultural Center's Live to You programming. Cultural programming at your fingertips. Enjoy. Hello again. I'd like to start off today with a little bit of stretching. If you're like me, you've been watching way too many videos, you've been sitting around way too long, and so it's time that we get up and stretch. So let's start off with a few stretches to get our body ready. I like this one. So that you can be like a tree, reach as far as your branches will let you, and extend your trunk down as far down into the soil as you can. And as you begin to stretch, you can wave your leaves and extend your branches as far out as you can. And keep on stretching those muscles as far out from yourself as you can. And up again, remembering to breathe. And then you can sway your branches into the wind. Another stretch that I like is to go all the way up and bring your shoulder around the back. Grab onto your elbow and give it a gentle, gentle pressure. And then same thing with the other side. You can move your body around to feel that stretch. Remember your head, your neck, and then of course the legs. Do a lunge. stretch. And you're lifting the knees the other way up for another stretch. Don't forget your ankles. So one of the things that we can do wherever we are is we can take responsibility for ourselves to increase our discipline on the basics of life. And this includes body movement. Wherever you are, you can always do a sit up, a push up, a jumping jack. So let's do five jumping jacks together to get our body ready to move. Ready? Go. Now if you want to fancy it up a little, you can do a double jumping jack. a day and you're going to be building your body strong. Um, another thing that we can be responsible for wherever we are, whenever we are, if we have the willpower, if we exercise our discipline, is we can practice rhythms. New rhythms we can make up, old rhythms we can practice, even older rhythms we can try and remember. Sometimes even when you're walking outside, or just opening your window for a little bit, you hear the rhythms of the songs of the birds or the sound of the wind rustling through the trees. And these rhythms are always with us because we carry them in our heart. We always have the rhythm of our heartbeat. So rhythms are a way to get us moving together in harmony with ourselves and with our neighbors and with all of the life that surrounds us. So here's one rhythm that I like. You hear that? It's a pretty simple one. 
You can use it to count with. You can use it to do math with. Three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, three, six, nine, five, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, one, twenty-four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two. You get the idea. That rhythm, known as a four-four, is a rhythm that's good to know because you can use that rhythm to find the rhythm in many, many different styles of music. You can use that rhythm as the underlay to accompany almost any type of soundtrack. So next time when you're listening to a song on the radio or when you're watching the sound, listening to the soundtrack of a movie, listen, listen to the rhythm. See if you can find the underlay. Just going to pick up a few little rocks. Watch out for glass. Don't pick up anything gross. Maybe a couple more. That should be good. These are a few rocks I just collected from our garden. Put them in the can. And then use an old piece of paper to cover your can, along with a rubber band or an old piece of string. Once you've got your paper, over the edge of your can, you've got your instrument. If you have a stick, you have another kind of instrument.
again. So now that you have your instrument and you've been thinking about your rhythm, you can use any rhythm that you make up together with a stretch and exercise to make a dance. So here's one we could try together. Keep singing, keep being creative, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.